Hi everyone, and welcome back to Dr. Kim's ENT Talk channel. I'm Dr. Kim, an ENT specialist. Have you ever felt severe, sharp, electric-like pain in or around your ear? Maybe it only lasted a few seconds. We should consider the possibility of Ramsey-Hunt syndrome or trigeminal neuralgia. Let's talk about these two important conditions you should never ignore. Part one, Ramsey-Hunt syndrome. This condition is caused by the reactivation of the varicella zoster virus. When it reactivates, it can affect the nerves near your ear and face. Severe sharp pain, small blisters or rashes in or around the ear canal. Tinnitus, ear fullness, or hearing loss may occur, and in more serious cases, facial weakness or even paralysis on one side. The longer you wait, the greater the risk of permanent nerve damage. So if you notice pain with blisters or any facial changes, you should visit a hospital as soon as possible and begin antiviral medication. Ramsey-Hunt syndrome often shows up when your body's run down. It tends to happen after intense physical activity, heavy work, suffering from lack of sleep and heavy stress. So if you feel a sharp stabbing pain around your ear, it might be your body telling you to slow down. Make sure to eat well, get enough sleep, and manage your stress. Part two, trigeminal neuralgia. Trigeminal neuralgia is another possible cause of sharp ear or facial pain. The pain is severe, characterized by a sharp electric sensation and a stabbing feeling similar to a needle prick. Brief but intense bursts lasting a few seconds to a minute. And it can be triggered by the most normal things like brushing your teeth, eating, talking, even just a light breeze on your face. It happens on one side and can come and go without warning. Trigeminal neuralgia is often called one of the most painful conditions a person can experience. It can be caused by a tumor compressing the nerve, a possibility that should not be disregarded. Part three, when to see a doctor? If you're having sharp electric-like pain that comes and goes repeatedly, and if you notice blisters around ear or inside ear canal, or if you feel ear fullness, hearing loss, if you experience sudden facial weakness or can't smile or close one eye, thank you so much for joining me today here on Dr. Kim's ENT Talk channel. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell so you won't miss more helpful videos in the future. Remember, your ears do more than just help you hear. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.